Okay, hi ladies and gentlemen, this is Darkovica, and I'm here with another tutorial. This one is going to be actually very simple. It is just uh, being able to use the TyrannoScript node to do text instead of the text node. I, sound, I, I know that sounds kind of silly. Why would you use anything but the text node for text? The reason is because you have no control over the text on this. If I type in more stuff, so I'm going to type in a couple more lines. This is the second line. I'm going to type in another one. This is the third line. And then save and let's go ahead and start from this screen. This is mainly the reason why I record my full monitor instead of just the program. This is a new scene. This is the second line. This is the third line. As you can see, there is no control over showing whether I want these three lines to appear. I mean, if you wanted to type something like dot, 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 that's okay. That would appear as one line. You wouldn't be able to pause in between the dots. You probably could, but it gets a little funky when you use the text node. So we're going to use the TyrannoScript node. And I'm going to type, this is a line of text. And the next thing I'm going to type is an open bracket, P, lowercase p, close bracket. And I'm going to type this, oops, this is the second line of text. This time I'm going to type an open bracket, the lowercase l, and a close bracket. Then I am going to type open bracket, lowercase r, closed bracket. And on the next line, this is the third line of text. And this time, I'm not going to type anything. And on the next line, I'm going to say this is the fourth line of text. So as you can see, oh, I'm also going to put a open bracket, lowercase l, closed bracket on the fourth line. As you can see, this it, there's a lot going on on this, and I'm going to explain every single one of them. So let's go ahead and start this scene. All right, so this is a line of text, and it waits. This is a second line of text, and it waits. And now you can see the, set, the next line says this is the third line of text and immediately follows with the fourth line of text. There's no break. It doesn't take it to the next line, and it waits this time around. Basically, what you're looking at is several different commands. And actually, I'm going to try and open up Notepad. All right. so. This is as follows the line of text that we have. Now what's important to note here is the following commands. Open bracket P close bracket basically tells it to wait and then deletes previous text. So it is sort of like the, uh, the default of the text node. After everything you text, if you go to a new line, it automatically uses this open bracket P close bracket. So the next one is L. And what this says is wait for a click before continuing. Nothing else. R means new line or probably more sensical return. So it's like hitting return. Uh, the third line of text didn't wait because it had no command on the end of it. So obviously that means it's not going to wait. It doesn't mean any. It does, it's going to act like the rest of this. So if, uh, let's see. Oh, there's one more that I'm going to explain, and that's open bracket CM close bracket. And what that does is clear all message layers. Now, I have not really messed with message layers all that much, but I do know that it basically clears macros. It clears any font. It just clears everything as far as I have tested it. So this may change in future updates. I know they're basically trying to make it so that you can do everything without having to code, but this is essentially the shortcuts that I use. If you wanted to, uh, oh, I forgot my internet's not really working right now, so I can't really show you what I wanted to show you. But if you wanted to see more of these tags, you could go to Google and search Tyranno Builder Tag Reference. Oops. And that will send you to a link with all of their working Tyranno script tags. You can also just use JavaScript to basically handle all of the things that I talked about in this video. And that's basically it for this tutorial. It's very, very short, but very important, I feel, because I actually don't use the text node ever. 
Uh, I guess another thing that I can show you is a macro, except I have to open up an old one because I never quite remember. Okay, so this is an existing game that I was working on for a very long time. As you can see, there is a lot going on in, the, in this one scene. But um, basically, I have three macros here that I worked on. And uh, what they basically do is anytime that I call these, and it works just like a normal like a normal line of text. If I were to call this macro, let's see, I know there is one down here, I think. Oh no, those are just my variable setups. This was before their recent addition of the system nodes, so I had to do everything in Tyrannoscript. So as you can see here, I'm calling my macros, which looks like mo, uh, let's see, mo text, which I named myself. It does not need to be named that. I, use, I call that like I was calling the L, the P, and the CM, and I can basically tell it what I want it to do. So let me go ahead and copy paste this. Now here I'm telling it anytime I type in brackets NA underscore uh, TXT, any text that comes after this is going to be in this color. This is basically the information for that macro. I could add anything whoops anything to the anything inside of these macro uh, brackets I can add like font type font size font color and anytime I call that macro this in this series of information is going to be used an example and I will show you uh, you'll have to deal with music in an actual game now you see this text is red that's my character and then this text is green. So that's an example of macros. I, I, there's more that you can do, but this is essentially the current full example of a working macro. And anytime, if you do use font, you will have to reset the font at the end of your, so like this line of text, for example, I will copy paste this so that you can see it br underscore txt and then monica wait is that you and it clears the text and then i put reset font because that's the only thing that i really wanted to reset was the font i didn't really want to just in case i added anything later i just wanted to reset the one thing not everything so i'm in control of the of what's being reset later on i can very easily find bugs all right, thank you very much, and I hope this episode of tutorialness for Tyranno Builder was helpful. Please post in the comment section if you have any questions, and I am planning on doing further tutorials that will show mini games and mechanics. It takes a little setup for me, and I always precursor my tutorials with like several working levels just to make sure that I'm prepared. So please be patient; it is coming, I swear. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you very much.